All right, guys, you want to know about Pokemon single investments? Well, we're going to talk about this right now, right after this. All right, guys, I'm Andy with Northwoods TCG, and today we're going to be taking a look add some Pokemon singles. And today we're gonna to be starting a new series. I think I'm gonna do this every week. I'll go through some of the top movers for that week in the Pokemon TCG when it comes down to singles and maybe some opportunities that are out there. And you can take a look at them yourself and really break them down to decide if they're great for your Pokemon investment or if you just think it's a dying fad. So today we're gonna to take a look at that. We're gonna talk about five different areas. They may not necessarily just be one single card. They may be a certain area of what we're seeing in a or a grouping of particular cards that are having these things um and we're also going to talk about some singles inside of this so which ones you might have some really good investment opportunities here as time moves on in these particular cards so today we're going to take it off with the first one which is going to be this all right guys first thing that we're going to be talking about here is going to be an xy trainer kit that's right it's been a long time since we talked about anything in the xy era having some really good movement but it's a specific kit it's going to be the by sharp wiggly tough trainer kit that they had out there back in xy for whatever reason a lot of the cards are doing extremely well in this one we're seeing anything from a 20 percent gain on those cards all the way up to an 830 percent gain and it's everything from a pidgeot to a clefairy into a pidgeotto so there's a lot of movement in this particular set all of a sudden here in the pokemon tcg don't know why i have not broken down each one of these individually once again this series is going to be based on the numbers not necessarily on why i think that these ones are going to do extremely well I'm just giving you the information on a weekly basis on which ones are doing extremely well, which areas are doing extremely well, and that way you guys can make some decisions on what works best for you by breaking the down a little bit when it comes down to singles. But yes, there's a lot of cards in this XY trainer kit from the Buy Sharp Wiggly Tough set. Overall, they're all doing extremely well. There's probably about eight or nine cards right now that are just going up really quickly in value, and they're doing really well. All of them look like the ones everyone I pulled out from that one are doing really well, but there are some really good shooting stars out of there that are doing really good. And could it be, once again, EX? We're talking about the Pidgeot EX being out there. Are people going back in time looking at the older versions of these particular sets and cards, having some interest in them, and all of a sudden we're seeing some value growing in these particular sets, which is something we theorized a year ago when we were seeing EX cards come back. Was this going to affect the EX market even in the pre or previous sets that had that marker all the way back to EX era to XY? And now we're here with Scarlet and Violet with more people getting interested. And another one that's going to show up on here again is going to be another card coming up here on the list. So once again, I think that there's some really good interest in these particular areas. Something to really maybe investigate to see if there's something that we would really have some potential growth or something into it. Overall, I think if there's a lot of interest in a particular area, that tells you that people are starting to move into that for some reason. And it's worth investigating to see if there are some good investments in that particular point, which is the point of this series. It gives you a direction for where people's interests are moving in the in the eras and where they are currently going when it comes down to the cards that they are currently buying and willing to pay for. And maybe you have some of these cards. Maybe these are cards you've had on the shelf that have just been dead weight for a long period of time, but you've been sitting on them. This might be the opportunity to get them out there. So... Once again, check out the um, that or, uh, Bisharp um, Wiggly Tough era. Definitely looking like it's doing really well when it comes down to those XY trainer kits. And there are some really good value currently growing in a lot of those cards. The last week and two weeks, some of them have been doing really well. Moving on to the next one, which is going to be this. All right, guys, here we are at the second one, which is going to be the Crown Zenith Bidoof. But this is going to be the alternate art of the Galarian Gallery version of this one in that set. Overall, in the last few or last week, we've seen a 27% gain. I think people are starting to bling out their deck. Number one, Crown Zenith is getting harder and harder to find. It's not as easy to find in your stores anymore. ETBs are pretty much gone anywhere locally by me. I can still find a couple of those big bundles like the Zacian and uh, Zamazenta boxes. They are still out there with all those packs, but still the value, even on them sale, is still way too high for the pricing on them. I don't want to pay that much for a figurine. So those are still sitting on the shelf, and they're still available. Other than that, a lot of the Crown Zenith product is really disappearing, which is meaning that we're seeing some increases on some of those Crown Zenith cards. But this Bidoof has also got the opportunity for some growth when it comes down to the playability. This card is very playable. It's in a lot of decks. There's a like, great opportunity to use that to grow or evolve and then get them five cards into your hand when you're trying to rotate through and build your decks. There's definitely that part of it when it comes down to these particular, for this particular card. 
And I think that that's a factor along with the Crown Zenith disappearing. So we're seeing kind of a double on this one with a 27% gain. It's been gaining pretty steadily, though, over the last few weeks. This week, it just had a really knockout week when it came down to growth. But it has been doing it for a little bit. It's gone from about $2, and it's already up currently close to about four fifty. So we're seeing about a double in price over the last couple, last, last three months. So overall, it's been doing really well. Uh, it's gaining, and it's just continuing. It's just accelerating a little faster now. Could be because there's new decks being built. Could be because people are just upgrading their decks right now. They've got some tax return money starting to come in. They've got some extra expendable money. So they're blinging up their decks a little bit and buying these cards that they may have been waiting for. It could be just filling in collections at this point in time. We don't know for sure. But all we know is by the numbers, it's doing rather well. We're going to move into the next one, which is going to be this. All right, guys, here we are. We are at the Altaria EX, and this one is from Emerald. So this one's a little bit older. Once again, I think this might be one of those scenarios like I was talking about in the first one where they've got that connection to a current EX set. Moving back as people are looking at the Altaria EX from Paradox Rift, that's going to be a really popular chase card. And with that becoming a popular chase card, they're going back in time and looking at this one back in the past and once again we're seeing some really good growth on this particular card we were around forty dollars and eighty cents before that about three weeks ago four weeks ago and now there's been a few sales that went up from there from about 40 to 48 and then we saw another near mint sale around 56 and now we just had a near mint sale around 89 so the price of this is also going up rather well especially on those near mint copies there are a lot of lightly played and you know heavily played copies selling Seems like a very difficult card to find, so if you do have this already in your collection, this may be a good opportunity to make some good profit on this particular card. But also, if you are looking for them Emerald or those EX cards, or some opportunities to maybe have some growth futuristically, this may be an opportunity to jump on those too. Trying to find those Newman copies right now at like your pawn shops or at your local LCSs might be a good opportunity because they don't readily change pricing on these particular cards, and you can maybe snap, snatch them up before they become priced accordingly to what the market is. So once again, check out your card shops, check out your places like that for these particular cards. There's a great opportunity to jump in on them at maybe around that $40 range when we're seeing some really good value jumping up to 90. Moving on to the next one, which is gonna be this. All right, here we are. Next one, which is gonna be the Delta Species Valyrian EX. Once again, an EX era card getting some love, and I wonder if it's because of the EX. Once again, it's another evolution, so it's doing really well. It's had a 73% gain here in the last week, but I'm going to put a little bit of caution on this one. Just because it has really good gain does not necessarily mean that this is an investment item. It was very flat before this, and there weren't very many near prints. There hasn't been any near prints sold in the recent history on TCG Player. So this may have been the first near, print, near mint that's been placed out there in a long period of time, but it's been flatlined on the sales, and now it jumped up close to that it jumped all the way up quite a bit, 73% on this particular card. And that's kind of looks like it's a one or two buys. So there's like two buys that kind of inch it up a little bit each time and really push that value up. And overall, I think it could be a good value. Overall, I think the EXs are really nice. That Flurion Delta Species, I have that one in my collection. It's a very nice looking card. It's probably one of my favorite arts when it comes down to a Flurion. And that could become a real thing as things move on and people with the evolving skies and all the evolutions craze start to branch out more and look at different evolutions in the past. These cards might see some more value and actually see gain here futuristically as people continue to do that. People, as they stay in the hobby, will tend to branch out and look more at what their favorite Pokemon is. And they will start to branch out and really start to grow their collections and look for these older items that fit their collection and their profiles. So that's going to be a continuing thing as people age into this hobby they tend to go to different areas, and then we see value in these particular areas continue to go up. And this might be one of those cases where we're starting to see some movement on some of these older EXs, number one, and number two, evolutions in the past are starting to see some value. Moving on to the last one, and this one's going to be interesting. All right, guys, before we move forward, I want to take a moment to remind you, hit that subscribe, hit that notify, and last but not least, Hit that like button. It's greatly appreciated. It helps out the channel a ton by doing so and helps us grow just a little bit each time. Now, if you do like this series, you want me to continue this every week, let me know. Put it in the comments on what you think about this series, if this is something you're interested in, or is there something you'd like to know more data about these particular cards. Once again, this is just using percentage gains to see which ones are doing the best for the last week or two and putting it into here so you guys maybe have some directions. But with that being said, let me know in the comments what you think, and we'll move on to number one. All right, guys, we're here to number one. And number one, I'm going to take a moment to talk about before I bring out the slide, which is a very interesting aspect. And it's always something I've really liked, and I've actually collected quite a few of these over the years because I thought that they were really cool, and they really never took off very well up until now. 
And it's very interesting. I don't know what's changed in the market and why this has occurred, but these are really, really, really interesting thing that's everywhere. Nobody takes care of them. And today I'm going to put them up here right now, which are going to be these. All right, you can see next to me, and that's right. One of the big areas that are moving currently in the Pokemon TCG are stamped energies. I don't know why. I used to collect them. I thought out that they were really cool. I've got a ton of them in, in binders that I'm going to start looking at. But in general, the stamped energies are really moving in price. We're seeing everything from 18% gains on these particular energies all the way up to 99 to 103% gains on these particular energies in the last week. And this has been a week over week over week thing. A lot of different energies are all changing in price and the stamped energies are moving up in value extremely fast. I've always enjoyed them. I always thought that they were one of the oddities in the Pokemon TCG that, you know, nobody really cared about. They were just stamped based on the set that they were in. Um, they were stamped based on a promo that was going on. They're even stamped inside of the Pop Series and some of the LCS packs that you could get, Series 4 and all those, for the actual participating in the LCS tournaments and things like that that they give them, for us, give them to us. These stamp promos are doing really well. They're gaining a lot of momentum. They're gaining some traction. Some people are really interested in them. PSA 10s are doing really well on them. The great abilities are probably fairly bad just because of the fact that they were used and nobody really cared about energies when they came out. But even in the Neo series, they were all stamped. I mean, you could find a lot of stamp promo or stamped energies that are doing really well currently. And that's why I really wanted to put these on the list is that if you're looking at one of those little investment items that might be kind of off the beaten path that people aren't looking at very often, these stamped energy cards may be a very, very good alternative for that. Even the ones in black and white where they have like the Espeon, the Lugia, and all the different shadowed backgrounds on the energies are also doing extremely well. And they look really cool. And I think that people are starting to get a little bit more into the different areas. And I think that that's why we're probably seeing some really good gains on these stamp promos right now. Some are doing better than others, of course. The older they are, they're doing really well, you know, even black and white. They're doing really well. The Pop Series ones are just doing what they do. I mean, there's not really a huge value in those currently. But it may show you where the potential future is for these particular promos or these uh, energies as time moves on. So once again, guys, check out the uh, Stamp Energies. It's definitely a really cool market that's doing really well. One of them things that I collected, I thought that they were really cool. I've got some Neo ones I just pulled out the other day from my binders. So it's really cool to be able to see these cards out there and seeing these opportunities really grow on these, these particular energies now that time is moving on on them. And it seems like the, the fans of Pokemon are now getting interest in those. The collectors are getting interest in those. And we're seeing that value grow on those particular cards. So... Once again, guys, that's going to be the last one that I have today. Thank you so much for joining. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this little series, and I will continue to do this from week to week. I'll change the cards out because there's a lot of cards that are gaining value. I just picked some of the ones I thought were really interesting and, you know, are particularly in value for some people to be able to jump on as potential investments or long-term holdings, especially like those stamped energies. There's still some really affordable ones. You know, the XY Trainer kit cards, they may be a fluke, but they also may be just something that's growing right now, and they're actually really low in price so that you can jump in on them at this particular time. Crown Zenith Badoof, another one, really reasonable price, under $5 currently for that particular card, even though we're seeing good gains on it week after week. And that Altari EX, once again, one of the things people are falling into and may continue to have value and growth overall when it comes down to it. The Delta Species Flareon, I just like Flareon, so I threw it on here. But it's also seeing some couple sales there that are showing that there's some movement on that EX era, especially. And one thing that we theorize may happen here as EX becomes more popular, as more people move into Scarlet and Violet, is they start may start going back. XY is also seeing a little bit of insurgence when it comes down to pricing on some of the cards in that EX era. Same thing with the original EX era. So it's something that we're continuing to see, something we should be watching for. And if you're looking at those investments or those potential flips and grades, these are definitely opportunities to be looking at for potentially capitalizing on that as we move forward into the EX of Scarlet and Violet. So overall, hopefully a good video. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this. Once again, if you want me to continue doing this and giving you this information, I think this is going to be a good weekly series. Other than that, we will see you next time here on Northwoods TCG.